Hello and welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. In this video, we will be creating a set of four colorful coasters. These coasters gives a beautiful spring feel. So let's have a detailed look at all of them one by one. These coasters are featuring our newly released Transumi, which is getting an amazing response from you all. So thank you so much for that. Best part about them is there is no right or wrong way of placing them because of the wonderful design. You can use it from any direction. Now, let's quickly look at the kit contents. In the kit, you will be getting spring transomy, watercolor background hash one transomy, a pack of curved square coasters, and a bottle of glitter. You may refer to the description for more details about the kit. Additionally, you will be needing few basic supplies such as a paper trimmer, scissors, silicone spatula brush, tweezers, water in a bowl, any round brush, sponge, water brush pen, any white and black chalk paint, two trays to take out paint, a sponge topper, flat brush, a thin round brush, a sponge emery, some dry tissues, resin, and a cup of stick to mix the raisin. Now, let's start creating. Take out all the four curved square coasters from the pack and take out some white chalk paint in a dish. Using a flat brush, apply a thin coat of paint onto one side of the coaster. Once done, repeat the same to the remaining three coasters and let them dry for some time. Afterwards, second coat of paint using a sponge dauber for a more finished look on the coasters. Repeat the same for remaining three coasters as well and keep them aside to dry. Now, to make them look equally pretty from the back side, we will take some black chalk paint and apply it to the back of the coasters using a sponge dauber. Using a sponge dauber here will give us a quick coverage. Repeat the same with the remaining three coasters as well and let them air dry. Once they are done, the last area left to cover is the edges. So we'll be coloring that as well. You may either use the same sponge jobber or for more precise application, use a thin paint brush. Paint the edges on all four coasters and leave them for the final drying. So our base coat looks great. Now to make the surface more smoother, you may use sanding block. Using this tool will even out the paint applied and give it a finished look. We use this block in round motion and then clean the dust off with the tissue. Similarly, we will sand the rest of the coasters as well. Moving forward, take out both the transformy sheets. We will first cut the black background sheet. For that, we are using our paper trimmer. Firstly, cut off the extra wide boundary around the transformy. Now from the longer side, cut two strips about 3 4 inches wide and then divide them in two parts by, by cutting them at 4 1 8 inches. This way you will get four strips of 3 1 4 by 4 1 8 inches each. The next step is to tear these. Yes, you heard it right. To do that, take a strip, peel off the protective film from it partially and tear it. We, we are tearing it here randomly as shown. Be careful while tearing the transomy as it's a thin film, it might get messed up by excess touching. So the reason why we are doing it is to get this beautiful tone effect on the coasters. Repeat the same for all the remaining strips and keep them aside for the time being. Now take the spring transomy and cut the elements you are liking using precision scissors. So we are picking the same elements which we used earlier and we are roughly cutting it. Once you have taken out all the elements, then do the precise cutting as shown for more neat results. Now let's begin doing our most favorite thing which is transforming. Starting with the black torn strips, remove the protective film and stick them upside down onto the coasters. Add strips onto the left side for two coasters and to the top side for the rest of the two coasters. 
using scissors chop off the extra transomy and flatten it up using silicone spatula brush then apply water on the transomy soak up extra water using a tissue and remove the backings now to make sure there's no air bubbles you may use the spatula brush over it again and it's done now do the same thing for the rest of the three coasters as well once done now it's time to pick our first coaster and start creating it here you can see all the elements pre-cut and ready so let's stick them one by one take reference from the ready coasters kept on the left side always remember to remove the protective film and try to hold the element from the edge otherwise the film will stick to your fingers and it will ruin the transfer so here i just want to tell you that we will be adding all the overlapping elements in the last so don't worry if we miss adding any element this time onto the coaster now so once you are done with placement flatten them up all with the silicone spatula brush and then apply water using any brush soak up extra water using a tissue and then remove the backing to remove air bubbles use the spatula brush over it again and you are done now in the exact same way we will be creating the remaining three coasters as well start with all large elements first and then add the small filler elements so after adding the cake and bunny add bottle and then the bucket flatten up with spatula brush then turn the coaster around and add the remaining elements so as you saw for this particular coaster we are keeping aside a small flower as well as the sentiment transfer and then we are simply going ahead with the water and doing the transomy as usual revealing the transomy is always so satisfying isn't it now we are here at the third coaster and for this one we are firstly adding the large elements onto all of the different directions we have also kept the coasters aside onto the left side so that you can always take reference from the same to know where we are placing which element as you can see for this particular coaster as well we have kept aside the sentiment and a small uh, flower element as well and now we are simply transferring them soak up extra water and let's slide the backing sheet using spatula brush and done here we are on to the last coaster starting with the largest element then adding the small jars turn the coaster around and add face as well as boost boots lastly add flowers keep the sentiment away and transfer rest all the elements as done previously add generous amount of water onto the transfers and remove the backings as shown wow loving them as you saw on the first coaster we added the sentiment onto the second coaster we have added a flower right on top of the cake on the third one we have added a thin sentiment and then onto the fourth coaster we have added a jar over here and the sentiment overlapping the beautiful house also onto the third coaster again we went back and we have added few flowers as well now we're quickly gonna um, add some water and transfer them all at once and once it's done the lastly we will be adding the sentiment to the second coaster and finally we are done with all our transfers now to add more interest and fill the blank white spaces we'll add some paint splatters using white and black chalk paint make sure to cover the design with your hand while splattering do it with black paint first dry it and then do it with white 
Once all of them are dried completely, now it's time to seal the coasters. For that, you may use any good varnish, such as Mod Pod dishwasher safe. But here we will seal it with resin to get the 3D glossy finish. So we have pre-mixed the resin as per the ratio mentioned on the box. As different brands has different ratios, so you may refer the instructions accordingly. To add some glimmer here, we will add a pinch of glitter into the resin, mixing it well. Now before pouring resin, make sure you protect your surface by keeping a plastic bag underneath and a cup to lift the coasters from surface. Now add a small amount of resin on top and rotate the coaster to make sure it's entirely covered with resin. Use a wooden stick to spread it evenly. Now do not forget to cover the edges as well. Once it's done, keep it aside onto a flat surface and repeat the same for remaining three coasters. Because resin takes at least 24 hours to cure completely, so make sure you do not touch them before that. So this is the result after 24 hours and we are totally in love with them. They turned out so well. So we hope you must have gotten the same results. Do not forget to share them with us via social media. We would love to see your creations. We hope you enjoyed this class. Do not miss to check the part 2 in which we are going to be creating these beautiful faces coaster set. The link is in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section and we will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and happy crafting.